We cannot expect always that the people that we meet to be nice to us and to be kind to us, sometimes we will have to deal with toxic people. So when you hear the word toxic, it comes to your mind. There is something poisonous. Yes, there are poisonous things in this world among them. There are dangerous poisonous things which are known as the words that are filled with anger. Words are something powerful which can kill us and as well as which can heal us. That is why they say words can break you as well as words can make you. So sometimes we will have to deal with toxic people, the people who are filled with anger, resentment, and hatred. So you will expect that all the toxic people are in the outer society. No, sometimes toxic people can be fined in our family. It may be your husband, it may be your wife, it may be your brother or sister. Sometimes people may become toxic and they may be the people who we love most. So if a person is toxic and that person lives out of our private life, it is very easy to deal with them either. We can be away from them, we can reduce the contact with them, and we can find some positive ways to respond to them. But when it comes to the people who are living with you, the people who are in your family, it is very difficult to face such toxic people. So how to deal with such toxic people well before learning that? Let me tell you a nice story. One day, a man came to Supreme Buddha and he started blaming to him. He blasted in front of Supreme Buddha. He throwed the words of hatred and anger to our great teacher, Supreme Buddha. Do you know what Supreme Buddha did? He said nothing, and he kept on a perfect and very kind smile on his face throughout this argument. So after some time, that person was done with his yelling. He stopped yelling at Supreme Buddha. Then, at that time, our great teacher, Supreme Buddha, asked a wonderful question. Supreme Buddha said, Dear young man, I have a question for you. Do you get any visitors and friends when you are living at your home? Then that man said, yes, I am getting many visitors. I am having many visitors when I am living at home. Then Supreme Buddha said, well, do you treat them with foods and drinks? That the angry man said, yes, I am treating them. Then Supreme Buddha said, what if those friends and visitors did not accept your treat? What will you do for those foods? Then that man laughed and said, those foods belongs to me. If they did not accept that I am the owner of that food, then Supreme Buddha said, young man, same goes with this argument. You treated me with the words of anger, hatred, and rude words, but I will never accept a single word that was given by you. Do you know what happened after that, the whole life of that man? The person who came to blame our Supreme Buddha changed to a wonderful disciple. He came under the wing of our great teacher, Supreme Buddha. He became a monk. Finally, he was lucky to become an enlightened monk. So that is how our great teacher, Supreme Buddha, dealt with a toxic person. So we had to follow that way. And here are a few things that we can practice to deal with toxic people. The first thing is to do when you are in an argument. As the first step, be silent. Never say anything. Never do anything. Yes, people may yell at us. They may blame at us all. What you have to do is to stay silent and smile. Put a confident smile to your face and smile at them. Make them feel that you are not disturbed. Make them feel that they cannot destruct your inner peace by their words. When you do that, they become confused when you act like that. When you be like that, you are making them confused, and they may think twice before approaching you. So in an argument, dear devotees and mighty children, during an argument, we come across two choices. The first choice is to react to that argument or the second. Choice is to respond to that argument. So reaction and responding are two different things. So if you choose reaction, you will become angry as them. You will blame them. You will try to make them down and you will try to convince them to your idea by hatred and anger. But you will never become successful. You will never win that argument. The best way to win an argument is to be silent first. What you have to do. You need to be silent now. When you're being silent, you will feel that you are defeated, but actually, you are not so. When you are staying silent, when you are staying calm during an adversity time and in an argument, you're making your opponent confused. And they may no longer yell at you quickly. They will stop yelling at you. You are not fooling the argument. You don't put any feel to this argument. So what will happen if we did not put any kind of feel to a fire that will gradually fade away? 
Same goes with the arguments. If you are not giving any arsenal, if you are not giving any weapon to your opponent to hurt you, they will never come to argue with you again. Those arguments, those problems will end quickly. So as the first step, be silent. Here's the second thing that you can do after a heated argument. Your opponent, the person who became angry with you, become tired, their body become fatty, and they may start to regret about the thing that they have done, and they may start to regret about the words that they have spoken to you. So what you have to do, approach them with kindness. Never blame them. Do not try to convince them at that time. You should approach to them from kindness and compassionate words. Ask them, what is the problem with you? Are you going through a tough time? Are you having any mental stress with you? Then they will feel comfortable and safe with you. Then they may regret about the things that they have done and about the words that they have spoken to you if you approach them with your kindness. If you help them with your compassionate words, that heart will be healed. That heart will be cold. That fire of anger will extinguish. So what you have to do, approach to them with you, with kindness and compassion. Don't speak when you are angry. Don't act when you're angry. And don't speak when another person, when the other person is angry. And don't act when the other person is angry. Stay still and be kind to them. Smile to them. That is the second step that you can do. So here comes the third step. So after the hated argument, if you approach to them with kindness and compassion, if you heal them with your compassionate words, they will ask for the forgiveness. They will ask the forgiveness from you. So what you have to do, forgive them by saying that it is okay, no problem. I can be patient with you, but you have to control your anger because if you did not control your anger, your life will be ruined. Your spirituality will be ruined. So make them feel that they really, really need to control their anger and they should not yell at you and you need to forgive them. Don't hold on to anger. Don't hold on to resentment. Instead, forgive them by forgiving. We can free our mind. We can live freely and we can live happily. So these are the three steps that we can use to deal with toxic people. So as a summary, the first step is silence. You should be silent during an argument. Never feel the argument. Number two, approach them with kindness and compassion because those words, those actions may heal others' broken hearts. Number three, forgive when the forgiveness is asked if you forgive them. If you do these things, if you practice these qualities, you will be happy forever.